today is episode 2 of the Argentine Confederation for Victoria 2. For Victoria 2, sorry. Um, last episode, I'll give you a little bit of recap in case you didn't watch all of it. We pretty much united the Rio de la Plata under our rule. Corrientes rebelled, so Entre Rios annexed it. Well, that's the shortest version. We defeated Paraguay along with Brazil and Chile, and uh, we took our cores back from Peru, Bolivia. Now, this episode will mostly be rebuilding our army to deal with Entre Rios and a Paraguay. Uh, to deal with Entre Rios, mostly. Maybe a little bit of Paraguay and Brazil. Also, we're going to start thinking about maybe going across the seas a little bit. Maybe not currently, because I don't have any ships. But, you know, it's a thought. Alright, let's jump in. So, how are you guys doing today? I'm doing fine. It's a little bit foggy outside. And by foggy, I mean it, it's cloudy. It's dark. And I actually kind of like rain. I like rain. I don't understand why people don't like rain. Like, in my mind, rain is so comfortable. It's just so nice. I like rain. Like, if you don't like rain, you have to have some good reason. You better fucking have some good reason to not like rain, because I love rain. It's so, like, how do I explain my liking for it? I just, ah. It's more the fact that rain is keeps me inside, and it makes me feel good about being inside and not, you know, what? what's going on with him? Makes me feel good about, you know, not having to have an excuse to be out, be inside. It's raining. I get to be inside. Leave me alone. All right. Now let's talk a little bit about the gameplay here. So, main objective: we need to get some artillery in our army, preferably one or two units of artillery, just so we don't waste money. Attack just a tiny bit. That's not. I just want to make it at least above five. That's good for me. All right, what's going around? Let's let's check around the world. What's going on? France military acts in Mexico. Okay, yada yada yada. Pause. All right. So, what? Did they win the Six Ojo War? Jojo War? I don't know. That usually doesn't happen, so I'm not sure if they did or didn't. All right. Portuguese Mozambique. Uh, nothing going on in Africa except Dogrim has conquered what seems to be northern Sokoto. Alright. Who won? Hold on. Sorry, I need to breathe out real quick. Hmm. It looks like she will lost the war against Tigre. Hmm. That's weird. Usually doesn't happen like that. Over here in Austria, everything's doing fine. Hasn't imploded on itself. The year is nearing 1848. We might be seeing some independent nation. <coughs> Hungary. Uh, Spain's doing fine. Doesn't look like they've fallen to the car list. In fact, they haven't fallen to the car list. They might fix that. And then France, doing fine. July monarchy has fired. No, it hasn't. Or has it? No, it hasn't. Over here in Russia, we have the Russians doing completely fine with all their satellite states. In China, everything's the norm. Over here, back everything up. Looks like Peru is getting fully occupied by the Bolivians. Which is nice, because I like seeing a united Andine confederation here. It makes the borders look so nice. Especially if they get this, this, and this. I might want to, like, ally them to get back to that, but I already have their cores. Mm -mm. Discouraging. Colombia. We have Golgotha here. Such a nice province right here. Just look at that. Perfectly up against the mountains on the river. Yada, yada, yada. Up here. Oh, my God. Mexico. What? 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 Okay. This makes me sad. This makes me very sad. Because me whenever I play as Mexico, I just get overrun by the U.S. I only in this mod, though. In normal vanilla, yeah, it's easy to kill the U.S. But in this mod, you just get overrun by U.S. mobilization reserves. Like, 
I am your master now. This apparently hasn't happened yet. It looks like Mexico has kicked the crap out of U.S. Oh, they've taken Chiapas. Jeez, Mexico. I congratulate you, because you are doing a hell of a lot better than I ever could. Fucking AI, but... Canadian Confederation, this is nice. I like I like having it like this. And then soon we'll see it expand across all of Canada, yada yada yada. I think that's really the gist of what's going on around the world, aside from this crap over here. Alright. Argentine Confederation. Let's go. So, like I said, this episode we're gonna be dealing a lot with Entre Rios politics. It's really just that. And it's gonna be kind of annoying because feel like I haven't sufficiently deteriorated the reserves. Like, they're not going to be building an army anytime soon, which is good. Maybe if I go to war with, like, Paraguay or Chile again, and I, like, I was allied with Brazil. I need something to, like, deplete the reserves against. Should I, like, declare war against Britain? I mean, they're not going to land any troops, and if they do, I'm going to crush them immediately. But I just need to, like, you know, keep, like, my troops in... Keep the Entrevian population in check. It may sound like a genocidal maniac for saying that, but that's not fair because they're going to kick my ass if I leave them the way they are. I don't want to spend money on artillery, though. That's the problem. I think what I'm going to do... I mean, I'm fairly certain it's 1850 when they rebel because I just looked up the uh, Platine War and it turns out 1850 is when they rebel against me. So, for now, for the next 10 years, I should be fine and... Sh Putting emphasis on should. Over here in the Ottoman Empire. They should be. They're going to start incorporating all of you. Yep. Alright. I may start wanting to think about alliances. But I really don't know who. Everyone around me hates me. No, I'm not even joking. Everyone around me hates me. Brazil hates me. Pro Bolivia hates me. Chile hates me. Well, it may not look like they hate me, but I will damn sure tell you that they are not happy with me. They will, they will declare war on me. Or I'm going to declare war on them. Brazil doesn't like me. Look, negative 83. Because I annex Paraguay. I mean, annex Uruguay. At least I'm pretty sure that's fine. I can't really. I'm sorry if I'm constantly bumping the mic. Yep. I'm sorry if I'm constantly bumping the mic. Do you need military action? I don't know. Alright, well, kind of just, you know what, you head to Rosario, I kind of want to build a fort here, I'll wait till I get 5,000 and then I'll start buying some artillery, let's see, I have Partido Federal, which is conservative, intervention, alright, you're still encouraging intellectuals, which is good, I also have a slave, which isn't good, Russia gone bankrupt. Must be at war with someone. I feel yeah, what's our population like? Like in Buenos Aires, what's our population? Show me only one hundred thousand. So around a good three three and a half thousand intellectuals is good is improved my research rate my research points by a lot now i'm not going to start thinking about turning them into capitalists right now because let's see what natural resources do i have rgo output really just cattle cattle we i mean i could go for some like wine up here but yeah, for now, it's really just a lot of cattle, wheat, nothing interesting. I mean, if I'm able to take, like, maybe this, I'd be able to get some more lumber. But that's about it. Like, it's nothing like the salt nitrate fields or sulfur fields and over here in Chile. Hmm. Alright. Like... We need to start working on some iron. Chile has iron, which I want. I have some iron here. And coal. I need coal. 
need to find out where all these are. Like, I know there's some up here in the corner, but coal. But there's no coal yet, but I have a feeling we're going to find some coal later on. I haven't really played down here in Southern Cone in a while. Okay. Good. I was going to do with the thing leading back. I'm watching up here because I like it if Mexico's going to win. Like, I want Mexico to win. But I feel like that's not going to be the case. Okay. We'll, we'll monitor, monitor those fence posts here. But they want an actual territory from them? Where is that? Look, forgive me if I don't know my Chinese fucking geography, okay? Damn, they want that? I don't think they'll get it. Oh, they didn't get it. They just wanted Hong Kong. I mean, not Hong Kong, Tian. No, Port Arthur. There we go. Okay. Nothing really interesting going on. I guess if I would have split it up a little bit, and like maybe not have went to war so many times, I would have been in a better spot, but meh. Alright, we're going to start building some artillery. I think I have sufficient funds to... Two artillery. Alright, let's start spending on artillery. I like keeping my spending up a lot. Tarot, keep it at a lot. Mexico has won. Fuck you. Why do you get to win? I never win. As Mexico. That's the Maharaja, Luxembourg, and competition. Constitution. Webster, Ashburn, Treaty, United States, and Mexico, call included, Treaty complete, yada, yada, yada. France and Olaf at war. You know, France expanding to uh, Bengal. All right, so basically, the, the norm. World is in a temporary state of fee, never mind. So, all's good for now. Portugal didn't get a lot of anything. South Korea is dead. I forgot. Do they want to annex them or do they? Yeah, annex them. Okay. Oh, research is complete. Awesome. Now, I'm kind of thinking here because I want to start going into Navy. You know, Clipper design, Naval. Like, all of these. I want these. But I also want to do this. On the topic of idealism, does anyone here agree with it? I don't. I feel like you should be more material about things. Think about it on the topic. That's all I'm going to say for now. It, as the year is in 1842, economy is doing decently. Making money. Not making the most amount of money. But still making money. It may be a little bit of more of a boring episode. I'm very sorry about that. It's just in for me. That's really making me bad, making me sad. In the meantime, I do want to start, I want to start building ships. But I just don't have a lot of money, that's the problem. Now, you head over to Buenos Aires. Aries. Aries. I say Aires, but I'm fairly certain it's Aries. Well, I'm certain it's Aries, but I don't know. Well, I do. Okay, I'm going to stop talking now. Okay. What's annoying is that later after I defeat Entre Rios, Buenos Aires is going to revolt against me. That's going to be really, really fucking annoying. Oh, 
now we have a port here. Something like that. So we would have a port right here. So that's good. Alright. Anybody else? Blanca, Blanca. Social justice. Oh god. Right when I start talking about idealism, huh? Mmm God, I shouldn't have said that. Uh let's ignore that. I'm trying to figure out Well, I guess one surefire way to start making money is don't fund the military. And I could do that. Tone down military spending. I'm not spending money on construction. Just you head down to 10% funding. Keep the tariffs up. I kind of want to lower taxes on the middle class. Maybe, they, maybe down to 20% funding for the military. We'll go up for education to 11, and then we'll go up to 3 for administration. Truth and told, I have no idea what administration is, I just treat it like education. Like administrative map mode, I'm pretty good administratively. I mean, I'm in the middle. That doesn't mean... I think administration just prevents world from imploding. Move away any nationalists. Okay, it's time to move these guys to Montevideo. I think I'll do pretty good against the Entrevians. It's just a fucking plus four attack general that I'm scared of. They're part of Uruguay Nationalist. I think un until I can assimilate Uruguay, I'll be good. I mean, I, I, I'm fairly certain I'm really good. <clears throat> okay. I'm fairly certain I will be good. Ooh, Uruguay has a bad problem with farming. Too much. I think we need to start, you know, encouraging some stuff in there. I think it's our second most populous state. So, not. No, it's our third most populous state. It's Argentina, Cordoba. And our second. But I still want to develop Uruguay. In case it does eventually get into its independence. Hold on. Alright. Maybe we can start off with some artisans with Uruguay. So we don't have to worry about factories like immediately. But I also kind of want to do landowners for that administrative position too. What's our revolt like here? One ten percent now. What about crisis? Ten. No, not right now. Right now. All right, we're good. We're good. Um, over here in Argon, kind of looking for Sean. I think, actually, you know what? It might be, it might look like a waste right now to be doing this. But I still want it to be there. Because I really have nothing else to do with my national focus yet. Okay, so we're making an overall non-profit move. So, most because of base DK, and you have great power ranking, and you have great powers at war. Damn it. Okay, so, I guess that was not a smart idea. I just don't know what to do with my national focus. I guess, you know what, I guess we'll be start encouraging some capitalists. I normally don't do this as much, but, nah. I want to get at least one war in this episode. I'm not sure how I'll do that. And I have 13 infantry, which is good. Let's take a look. Our budget consists of, we have around 5,000. 5,000 
your pounds, but I said euro. Five thousand pounds. We're gonna be making it up to six thousand maybe next year. And our economy's doing fairly well. We still don't have anything like a lot of artisans. Let's see how many capitalists do we have. What what's our population of capitalists like? We have five capitalists. How about in the entire Argentine population? Five in the entire Argentine population. Okay, okay. And we have six thousand intellectuals. How about in Buenos Aires? Four thousand. Let's just do that. Let's check the mobilization again. I can get around thirty-five units from mobilized. I mean, as in like thirty-five thousand. Let's see. I have a lot of generals that I kind of don't need to get. It's mostly a morale upgrade. I still like our secondary power rating. Nice ten. Let's remove this and try and see if this is yep, yep. It's known better than that. Bolivian Argentine <clears throat> Argentine border command. War with Bolivia. Okay. So they want me to give up Taraha. I lose two infamy and ten board points. I'd be able to get Peru Bolivia as an ally. But I can't get anything else. Alright, let's see. What's the population of Taria? Tara. Uh, consist of so all of them are South Asian. So the name Buru Bolivia is from the culture. Workforce is one hundred percent intellectuals. Um, that's not that much. Now, very religious population. All right, I think we'd be able to hand it over. I really do want to lose the infamy. And it's only one province. I'm not too worried about it. So, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hand it over. We agree to their proposal. We lose Taraha, Aria, and we might just be able to get an ally. Might. They still have cores. Oh, Colombia. I'll take that. Alright, Colombia. You're in the sphere of the U.S. Okay. I think that's good for now. Increase relations, 120. Oh, no, that's not good. So, it's now turned to Bolivia and Peru. Peru, okay, so Peru is the one that hates us, and Bolivia is the one that doesn't. Okay. Shame, shame. Alright, alright. And the Peru Bolivian Confederation. Bolivia, you like me. You like me, right? Yay, Bolivia is our next ally. Alright, so uh, we have allied Bolivia. We can't invest in Bolivia, because I'd like to invest in it, but I can't. Like, I'm one of those players who will literally give the AI gifts of money in, like, EU4, just to make the AI stronger, just because I want to. Because I want to play against, like, stronger AI. And I think, well, we should get smarter AI. But look at this. This is pathetic. Look at, look at Bolivia's army. It's a three troop. Presidential dictatorship, and they have no coastline. Okay. Oh, okay. This is interesting. Their 
coefficient to 2 pi. Paraguay declares independent. <laughs> I was just about to declare one. All right. Paraguay. No. This is a point of divergence here, people. Paraguay is not getting independence. Never. Never. I can declare one immediately because I need to. But we will never accept Paraguayan independence. Never. But first, uh, who they are? No one. Good. All right. Entre Rios, prepare to lose your entire army. Why is my morale so low? I oh, know, must be. Oh, supply. What am I talking about? All right. Supply level. Pretty good. I'll send them over to. Yeah, you guys are good here. All right, declare war on Paraguay. Make puppet call allies. Wait. So Pro Bolivia might have done it, and Colombia wouldn't. All right, all right. So we're at war Paraguay. What's our supply limit like? We'll head over to Peru, Guaca. Okay. It's surrounded by rivers on two sides, and it's a jungle, which means I get a temperate forest, which means I get a defense bonus, and a supply limit bonus. Okay. Entre Rios will mobilize me soon. Are they grit power? I think. Entre Rios will mobilize me. No, 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 stay at Cozal. Prepared to go. Alright. Now, you head to Corrientes. You head to Santa Tomas. I'm gonna head to Santa Tomas. Let's get Ontario's filled with troops. Why isn't good though, which is not good. I think we can merge these armies. I think that's a tough one. Now, if we have a weak SSR, we don't have supply, which isn't good. Oh, wait. I should be funding my army. What am I doing? It's wartime, people. We should be funding our army. Kind of forgot about that. <laughs> We're going to be in a deficit for a while, but it's not that big of a deal. Maybe if we don't overfund our army. Perfect time to strike. Now, that's not a good idea. I shouldn't do that. We'll attack my Austin now. I don't know. I shouldn't attack them right now. I'm not in a good route for attacking them right now. It's a good thing I have this artillery. I'm hesitant to attack them. Deadly. Alright. 
Like I said, I'm glad I have this artillery. You head to Ashina. You're kind of free to do whatever you want. They're not going to engage me. Consciousness or military training? Consciousness. Yeah, you are down to four thousand. It's already two thousand lost. be engaging this army. Like I said, I want to I want to conquer Hashina. Should be able to smash them, especially with my plus 3 attack. Should Come on, I have artillery. Are you kidding me? I don't think you're gonna make it, buddy. But you need to wait so I don't get ripped across the map. Yeah, I should. I informed that to you. And you head here. Cause you're the conscript. I don't care what happens. All right, I think we've won. We got our war in. Once I win this, I'll be ending the episode. Kind of a boring episode, but we are going to be conquering Paraguay. And you know what? It's your fault. Your fault for declaring war... Declaring... <coughs> declaring independence. Alright. This is good. Let's split it up in two. Split it into two? No. Can we stop? Okay, so I guess the AI doesn't. Bolivia broke our lines. Well, it isn't, doesn't matter to me. But, uh, meh. Okay, we haven't claimed it yet, do we, Chuck? So, all in all, pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. My question is, what happened to the other army that I had? I don't know, it must have been destroyed or something. Because I had two Ontariano armies. Ontariano armies. Just need to call that. This not have a nice name on the map. There we go. Chile acquiring the rest of Antano Fagusta. Antino Fagusta. I thought they had a core of people. You'll be sieging down the jungle province of the Bactrian Republic. Yeah, dealism is done. Good, good, good. I think I'm going to get on Malthusian thought. I think we're staying government. It is 1844. But I do feel like we should be researching muzzleloaded rifles by now. Oh. Revolution in Mexico. Reactionaries have taken power. Ah, but it hasn't. Some, I don't know. Sometimes when reactionaries take power, like in a presidential dictatorship, they form an empire or a monarchy in general. And it's just Mexico is called the empire. Which is pretty cool. Alright. Yeah, let's crank this up. So we're pretty good right now. Our economy is balanced out. We're stabilized. We've moved into the transition of a war economy. And soon, Paraguay will be looking even worse for wear. Do you want peace? Because I can. Yeah, I can. It's a good thing I don't have to full occupy them. I'm slowly losing money, but I am... Okay, boar, boars, events. But I am going to save lives pretty easily. What about Zulu? It's kind of weird they start with only two provinces. Even though they look much bigger than that.
Christ. Okay. Let's check our population. We're slowly gaining uh, people born. Uh, Argentine Film Federation nationality. I don't think we're 100% right now. Because we still have some slave missions. Wait, what? We have we don't have any more capitals on the shit. Yeah, it's fine. I guess I should stop encouraging capitalists. It's fine. How about you encourage me some Why don't you just keep encouraging the intellectuals, I guess? Taking forever to siege. Oh, this isn't nice. That's not nice. Shouldn't have done that. Ah, uh, they're not that big of a deal. We'll just send down Oxford, I don't know. To deal with them. They might occupy Montevideo, but I don't think they're gonna get past that. For now, it's a little bit more of a focus on Paraguay than I have hoped. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Liberals hate. Oof, 21 years old. Not gonna be going to war anytime soon. I'm gonna run them in, mostly because I know I'll lose, but I want to just destroy the population. Oh, I'm not losing. Yeah, I'm just gonna continuously just run them straight into the rebel stack. We're way too far away from bottom. Oops, did not realize we were starting to become a puppet of the Argentine. Paraguay becomes a puppet of the Argentine Film Federation. Yes. Now we don't need to fight in the war very much. You go down, you go down. And you head over to Montevideo to destroy them. Well, we have successfully quote unquote conquered Paraguay. Now we haven't conquered them because they're not a part of our country, but I'm sure there's an event somewhere around here that allows us to, you know, annex them. But, you know, I think once we defeat this rebel stack, I'm going to end the video there. I think this was a pretty productive video. Pretty productive. So, anyways, just a bit of commentary today. Nothing too special. And with the defeat of the Paraguayan rebels, I mean, the Uruguayan rebels, I didn't get them mixed up. And Montevideo. I'm surprised Brazil hasn't taken advantage of them. Alright guys, well, this has been the Big Bad Mr. Manis reporting, and today we have conquered. I will see you next time.